I want to show you how to make an origami pocket. Origami pockets are great for holding little things, but what's really great about them is seeing how you can start with the rectangle and end up with this five-sided figure. The way uh, you need to start, and there's so many trans, uh, shape transformations in here, so keep an eye out for them. First thing you want to do is make this into a square. The way I'm going to make this into a square is I'm going to bring the short edge up here and line it up with the long edge. And then I'm going to cut off this strip right here. And it ends up being this, which is a square. Um, hmm, which does not really look like a square. It looks like a triangle, but there's a square. So I did make the square. You take the square now, fold it in half, you've got a triangle. It's not just a triangle though, it's an isosceles triangle because it's got two equal sides. I'm going to do one more fold and there'll be a lot of isosceles triangles. Watch this. I'm going to take this, bring it down, that point right to the bottom, flatten it out, and now I've got one, two, three, four isosceles triangles, five if you count the big one. Also, if you just want to look at this shape, you've got a trapezoid. All right. Next step, open this up. I'm going to take this edge and line it up with this fold line. So this edge comes to that fold line like that. Got a triangle here. Same thing over here. Bring the edge up to the fold line. Here we go. And look, we've got that isosceles triangle here again. I bring this down, got a bunch of other little isosceles triangles. There you go, it's done. Uh, there's some cool things to notice about this. Like, for instance, if I take another one, if I put two together, this has got five sides, right? It's a pentagon. So we went from a rectangle to a, a square, to a triangle, to a trapezoid, to a pentagon. Nice. Uh, if I put two together, two five-sided figures together, now I've got ten sides. But if I put them together like this, I've subtracted two sides, so now I've got eight sides all together. That's technically an octagon. Not a regular octagon, but it's, a, it's an octagon. Now if I put them together like this, I can subtract both of these sides, so we've got 10 minus 2 minus 2, which is 6. So now I've got a hexagon here. One other thing to keep in mind is that little strip that we cut off. What you can do with that is make another little triangle, make another little square, and make a scaled down version of the origami pocket. Now, I like to keep my little pocket, this little flap up, it just, to me, I dislike it, but you can bring it down, or you can bring it down like this to close up things inside of it. And that's it.